بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين. We continue our reflections on Dua Abu Hamza. We reach this point. والحمد لله الذي لا أرجو غيره ولو رجوت غيره لأخلف رجائي. All praise is due to Allah, who is the one that I have no hope in anyone other than Him. And even if I had hoped that others would help me, they would have disappointed my hope. In our life, we often need each other and we expect help from each other. So it's not bad if I have hope that you help me or someone teaches me, someone gives me, I don't know, direction, guidance, whatever. But no one can be hoped independent from God. So if I think that I have two ways of receiving help. One is Allah, one is another person. One is, for example, I don't know my boss, one is, I don't know my company, my government, my, I don't know, tribe, whatever. Independent from Allah, that's problem. Or if I think I have two sources of rizq, one is Allah, the other one is my job, my business. This is a problem. So we cannot have hope in anyone helping us independently. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate hope, ultimate trust. And if we go to others and forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sooner or later you will be disappointed. Maybe the first time you get something, but finally you would see that you would fail. But we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We put our hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya man arjuhu likulli khair, as we said in months of Rajab. But we also act rationally. We communicate to people, we interact with people, we receive help, we give help. It's not that, you know, I don't want to have any connection with anyone. We do these things, but it's like a game. I go to work because this is my responsibility in this game. Dunya is laib. <laughs> in this game, I have to do these things, but you should not think your rest is coming because of this. You have to play this game very reasonably according to all the rules and regulations. You should be very much uh, trying to keep good relation with people, to communicate, to plan, to present yourself, everything normal. But the only one that you have hope in him is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is just kind of, you know, excuse <laughs> that I have to keep myself busy. <laughs> I have to do something. Not that I think these are the things that are making me successful. These are the things that give me rest, give me shafa. I have to go to doctor. I cannot, you know, say I don't go to doctor. I have to take the medicine. But is shafa coming from medicine? It's coming from doctor? No. But if I say Allah gives me shafa and I don't go to doctor, this is not good. Do everything that you can do, but your hope should be in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. والحمد لله الذي وكلني إليه فأكرمني ولم يكلني إلى الناس فيهينونني. This is the last sentence for today. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa taala who has referred my affairs to Himself, has asked me to go to Himself. I have to go to Him. Not to people. He has not left me to people. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had asked me to go to people, 
and say, go and get what you want from people, they would have yohinunani. They would have gra gradually humiliated me, reduced their respect for me. Why you keep coming to me? Your face is now <laughs> boring <laughs> every time you come to me. They have their own problems. They have their own priorities. But Allah is the one that not only when you go to him, he would not reduce his respect for you. Actually, the more you go, your respect would increase. If someone goes once a month, or if someone goes every day to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which one has more respect? The one that goes every day. If someone every day goes few times to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has more respect. And it is amazing that when you don't go to people to ask for help, and keep asking Allah, not only Allah would have respect for you more, not only the angels have, would, uh, would have more respect for you, even other people love such people. The people that they don't expect anything except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone loves you more. No one loves beggar who begs everyone, but everyone loves a beggar of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even begging Allah gives you honor. Serving Allah gives you honor. So we just repeat with the intention of dua. Alhamdulillah alladhi la arju ghayrah walaw rajawtu ghayrahu la akhlaf rajai walhamdulillah alladhi wakalani ilayhi fa akramani walam yakilni ila al-nasi fayuhinunani salawat Allah